hi everyone welcome back to the channel my name is joy and i'm your host for this youtube channel on here we talk about everything beauty self-care skincare and how to look good as children of god in today's video i'm going to be talking about the ultimate when i say the ultimate i mean the ultimate body hygiene product list that you need i don't want you going to the supermarket and you're confused or going for your next restock and you're asking yourself what should i get what shouldn't i get what should i buy what shouldn't i buy get your pen and your paper and jot things down today because this is the list that you will need for your next restore the first thing you need on this list is a bar soap okay guys you need to cleanse your skin properly you need to cleanse your body properly when we are talking about hygiene we're talking about taking care of the well-being of our physical body okay so please make sure that you have a good cleansing bar soap now, I personally use Dove Bar Soap. You can use any other bar soap that you like, anyone that is preferable for your skin and what you think is best for you. Please make sure that you use a good cleansing bar soap. That is number one on the list. You guys know this saying, cleanliness is next to godliness. So if you're trying to embody the excellent spirit of God, you have to show up clean. We have to show up good. We have to show up looking sweet. The next thing on this list is a moisturizing body lotion. Guys, it is so important to have a moisturizing body lotion. Now, you don't want to come out and your skin is looking dried and unkempt. You want to make sure that you're always moisturized and you're always looking good. Okay, now there are so many moisturizing body lotions you can choose from. There is Dr. Tews, there is Dove, there is Nivea, there is CeraVe, there's Face Facts. We have a whole lot of, you know, brands that you can choose from. So please have a good bar soap and the next on the list is a body lotion i hope you're writing this thing down write it down so that you're not confused when you're going to get your next restock and after a body lotion you're going to be looking at your deodorant okay you can go for a male deodorant or you go for the female type of deodorant now i personally i use both depending on how i feel or what i want to go for or what i want to you know smell like now you can go for the roll-on types or you go for the spray types or the stick type, whichever one you're going for. But please, you will need a good deodorant. Yes, you need a deodorant. Do not skip this on your list. It is very essential and it's very important. I know that you can see deodorants for like 2,000, 3,000, 25, 18, depending on where you're staying and depending on the supermarket that you're getting it from. Okay, or the skincare store that you're getting it from you can get good deodorant within that price range but if you're going for the spray type you should be budgeting at least four thousand six thousand upwards depending on what you're going for okay but please make sure you have a bar soap body lotion moisturizing body lotion okay and a deodorant then the next thing on this list is a shaving cream or a shaving stick now if you're not a girl who waxes you cannot bear the pain of waxing please make sure you have your shaving cream and also make sure that you have your shaving stick. Now, I'm not going to advise to use your shaving cream down there because I don't really know about that, but you can use it with, around your bikini lines, okay, your bikini area. But please, if you're not using, um, if you're not waxing, make sure to use your shaving stick to keep your armpit clean and free of like pubic hairs and also down there. It is so important. Please make sure you have either a shaving cream or you wax or you have a shaving stick. Another thing that you are going to need in your body hygiene products list is a good cleansing cloth. Now, I feel like this should have even been the first. Your sponge, okay, whether it's a loafer, it's an exfoliating glove, whichever one, your cleansing cloth is very important. Now, you can use the normal Nigerian net or the normal Nigerian exfoliating sponge, which obviously everybody has, I believe so. It's so good. It actually cleanses the skin well, and it's actually very affordable as well. Please make sure that you choose a good cleansing cloth for yourself. Now, also, you can also switch up depending on your vibe. Let's say... Today, you feel like I want to use my exfoliating gloves, you can actually buy that. If you want to use your loafer, you can actually buy that. If you want to use your ex um, exfoliating net, whichever one, you can buy as much as you want. But if you don't want to buy all of that and you just want to niche down, I'll tell you to just get an exfoliating net. I'm going to put the picture in front. I'm sure everybody knows what I'm talking about, okay? So please make sure that your cleansing clothes 
is there because you want to make sure that you're cleaning your body properly it's body hygiene we're talking about here right so the next thing on the list is going to be your oral hygiene like make sure that you have a good brush toothpaste floss and tongue scraper this is so so important because you're not going to take care of every other part of your body and you're neglecting your oral hygiene mm -mm, mm -mm. we are not doing that we are not doing that now i know some people love to use very hard to brush <sighs> please don't do that to your teeth please don't do that to your dentition i'm begging you please don't do that because when you're using hard to brush you're going to enjoy your gum okay you are going to enjoy your gum so make sure that if you're using to brush look at make sure it's medium to mild don't go for a strong hard to brush i'm begging you please mm? you don't want to be going to the dentist every single time okay so please make sure that you have a good toothbrush and your toothpaste is also good for your teeth and another thing you're going to look at is flossing now i'm not a big fan of toothpick so I'd rather tell you to floss because toothpicks sometimes can injure your gums and you don't want that. But flossing makes it easier for you to be able to, you know, pass in between your tooth and remove any excesses or residue of food that you ate. Another thing I also tell you is that always put at least two or three floss into your purse, okay? It is so important just in case you're going to eat outside and you have to remove things so you don't have to use toothpick and enjoy your gum, okay? So make sure that you get a good floss. All right, and then lastly is the tongue scraper. Use a good see. Let me tell you, tongue scraper is actually a game changer. You guys need it. You guys need it. Make sure that you get a good tongue scraper. And then the next thing you are going to be looking at is hand sanitizers. You don't know where your hands are touched, and you now use it on your face, use it on another person's body, or use it on your own skin, or shake someone, or use hand sanitizer okay it's very very essential so you can clean your hands or you have a good antibacterial hand wash soap at home use a good hand sanitizer okay you can go for a mini hand sanitizer that you can always put into your bag or you have an antibacterial soap for your hands okay that you can use in cleansing and washing your hands when you come back or whenever you're outside and the last thing on the list is is an antibacterial soap you need this okay very important we have Dettol, we have premium we have safeguard we have tecmosol there are so many antibacterial soaps that you can get that will help you to you know clean dirt of your skin it is so so important okay so make sure that you get your antibacterial soap these are the body hygiene product list that you need okay this is so essential this is so important for the health of your body if you have more things to add in your list you can add more things but if you're looking for how to narrow it down i'll tell you to narrow it down to these few products that i have mentioned here in this video today so if you're going to be following this list please let me know in the comment section okay and i'm going to hold you accountable and ask you when you're going on your next restock and i'm going to definitely hold you accountable to be sure that you follow the list okay thank you so much for watching see you guys in another video bye i love you Mwah.